The original intention of the creators of Painter was to provide natural media emulation, and many of the categories are devoted to creating the look of traditional techniques. Acrylics, for example, let's choose bristle brush, and I'll make a stroke or two, and that has a lovely look of bristles fading out. I'll switch to the oils category with a different color selected. I will choose coarse wet bristle, and now I have a wonderful effect that appears to be combined with the color that is underneath it. Let's take a look at blenders, which are a variety of choices for blurring and smearing existing pixels that are on your canvas. I'll choose the flat grainy stump, and now we see that we can blur and blend some of these colors together. If I choose an impasto variant, I'm going to be choosing a thick paint effect. Gloopy, for example, will give me the look of paint that is squeezed directly out of the tube. There are some categories that are devoted to creating some very special looks that you can't hope to create with natural media. One of those is the pattern pens category. You can actually paint with a pattern that you can select from this library here. I have chosen lotus petals. And with pattern pen masked, I can simply paint with that pattern. There's a way to paint with a gradient as well, and that would be found in the pens group. You have the grad pen, where grad stands for gradient, and the current gradient is shown here. So I will make a stroke with that. By using the image hose, we can spray bits of images. We can use linear or spray, and you can choose the content of your hose by selecting it from this list of nozzles. It's lots of fun to play around with the special effects brushes as well as the natural media brushes. And at some point, you're going to want to find your favorites quickly without having to go through all of the categories or try to remember where you found that one particular brush that you want to use again. Now, there are a couple of ways you can find a brush that you want to use. And one of them is by simply finding the recent brushes panel under your window menu. This is where you'll find all of your panels. So here, this shows us the last 10 brushes that we used. If we wanted to go back to Gloopy, for example, there it is. And now we can make one of those Gloopy strokes. But this is limited to the last 10 items. If you can recall the name of the brush that you used, or if you have an idea what it might be called, you can type that into the Search Brushes field. And there is a brush that I quite like, and it's called Dry Ink but I'm not sure where to find it. So I'm going to hit enter or return. The results are telling me that there are a couple of items that satisfy these criteria that have the word dry and the word ink. Here's the one I want, the dry ink in the pens group. And so that has come up for me. And now I can draw with that. I'm gonna simply clear the canvas first though by doing a select all and a delete or backspace. Now with dry ink and black, I can make a wonderful stroke that goes from very thin to very thick. And I can make sure that this is something that I can always find by creating a custom palette. And the custom palette is something that can be created as simply as holding your shift key down and then dragging to the canvas. And now I have one item in a custom palette. In the next movie, we will discuss custom palettes in more detail and you'll see how to organize them and create as many as you wish.